welcome again everyone uh, into this video where uh, as you can see my CNC machine uh, has been set up to cut uh, the top plate uh, for uh, an arch top guitar. Uh, as you can see here uh, it's uh, I'm beginning to uh, cut the uh, under uh, side if you will of the top plate and you'll see here in a minute uh, that I've also uh, uh, will use a method that uh, will allow me to integrate the braces uh, directly into the top so I don't have to separately glue braces on there and you'll see what I mean. So as you can see here I'm doing a roughing pass uh, with a 3 8 of an inch uh, mill and you can also begin to see the integrated braces uh, in their rough state. Uh, those will be cleaned out with a finishing pass. Is a shot of uh, Mach 3 actually running the G code. Uh, this was around 30,000 lines of code. And as you saw there, we're running about 130 inches a minute. As you can see, the machine now is actually bringing down those braces into uh, final dimensions. Uh, I left about an eighth of an inch uh, oversize for final tuning. And here you can see the finishing passes. Uh, uh, here I'm using a three-eighths of an inch ball nose bit. And as you can see it leaves a very uh, smooth finish. I believe my step over was around uh, 0.05 or something like that. Uh, with a little bit of sanding after that uh, all those tooling marks will basically disappear. We're actually going ahead and doing a profile cut on those braces as well as you can see to leave a very smooth finish on them uh, that basically requires only minimal work uh, after to basically bring them into final dimensions and final tuning and uh, as you can see here here is the uh, the bottom arch and pretty much the bottom uh, uh, part of the plate uh, completed uh, next we'll actually start uh, with the top and you'll see that Again, roughing passes for the top uh, after we flipped the, uh, the body over, uh, as you can see here, uh, using a very large step over. Uh, but again, we just want to remove material as quickly as possible, uh, and then uh, we will proceed with finishing passes, and, and you'll see those as well. And here's the machine doing finishing passes on the top. Finishing passes I'm doing at around 140 inches a minute uh, and I was cutting at around uh, I believe 90 inches a minute. As you can see here we're cutting out the F-holes and at this point the top is pretty much alive, it's actually vibrating as you can see there from the, vibrate, uh, from the vibrating chips. And after the F-holes are done uh, we're actually going to proceed to do a profile cut to uh, cut the entire top out of the block of wood and you'll see that next. So here's the machine doing a profile cut. Uh, I believe this is with a one quarter of an inch uh, mill. you can't really see it here because of all the material that's on the table but uh, the recurves have also been cut uh, and you'll see the finished part here in a minute and there it goes our finished top plate very nice finish both the top and the bottom with those integrated braces that we need to fine-tune for the final tap tuning extremely happy with how this came out as you can see here just put it on the table and let the CNC machine do the work. Thanks again everyone. We'll see you soon in uh, some videos to follow. Take care.